Nielsen family we found in Washington, D.C. lives at Bowling, a military base. Dan Nielsen is 35 years old, 6 feet 8 inches tall, Catholic, and has been in the service 15 years. I feel I grew up with television through the uh, early 50s, and uh, I remember Playhouse 90. It was on an adult level. You, you felt that they, were, they weren't trying to uh, reach a 12-year-old. Dan's wife, Mary, who is six feet four, takes care of the three boys, including the baby, Darth, named after the character in Star Wars. Mary also thinks television has changed since she was a girl. Well, I think when we were kids, it just wasn't anything on TV that really wasn't all that wholesome. For one thing, I think people at that time were a lot more wholesome, and so the idea, even the parents wouldn't have watched anything like the Doll 98 beauty contest, you know, the outrage would have been instantaneous. I don't watch soap operas at all. I leave the TV off all day long because I just have a feeling I would really get hooked on it. When I was a kid, I got hooked on Peyton Place, and I just couldn't miss it. When a lot of people come home from work, they put on the television set, but not Dan. We'll come home at five, uh, we'll go right to the pool. I don't think there's any heroes on TV. I, I'm trying to think of somebody on TV that I could say to my children, I wish you'd grow up and be like him. I can't think of a soul. I can't say I wish you'd grow up and be like Batman. You know, I can't be like Superman. I'd like to see some real honest skin heroes, something for them to model themselves at. We'll, well, we'll have to be their heroes. We have to show them how to be. After swimming, the Nielsens have dinner together. If they feel the weather is good and television isn't, the Nielsens eat outside in the patio. Tonight, the Nielsens ate outside on the patio. When I sat down with them following dinner, the first questions I asked them were why they thought television wasn't as good as it used to be and if the birth of the baby had altered their viewing habits. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, uh, we didn't really watch very much TV before he was born. Which is why we have Darth. <laughs> the quality of television is diminished because it's become a selling media. Some commercials, I think, have the same writers as some of the shows. They're completely vacuous. I don't, I don't want him to watch the Hulk. Why? I feel that it, it's just, it's showing violence, pure, unbridled violence as an answer. Are there any shows now that you take the time out to watch every week? Uh, no, as a matter of fact. Well, <coughs> if, there's a spell, if there's something on public television, like right now, there's the I, Claudius series. Our reception for uh, public television is really poor here, and, and we'd sit and we'd watch it through snow. You could, you know, double, vi double vision and everything else, but we just really enjoyed it. I like to read books. I like to play with the baby a lot. The relationships between men and women in commercial television, I think, for the most part, make one or the other look foolish. Nobody has to be the best in the family. I mean, it's possible, you know, you can, both of you can be equal. How do you feel about television news? I feel that uh, television news uh, is not worthwhile. Things like uh, violent crimes, that's not news. Or, or if there's the gas crunch, you go to the, the man waiting in line for two hours uh, to get gas. That's, that's nice, but let's, let's have real news. Let's go and find out why. Dan doesn't like the news, and he thinks even less of the shows. So I asked him if the Nielsens would tune in to watch themselves. Eric said they might be busy. We have a game called Life that we like to play a lot. It's really fantastic. After spending a day with them, we found out that the Nielsens not only play a game called Life, they also live it.